Okay, this is a quick video just to show you what I've done here on this F30 or F4S Racer Star and a titanium, the Rooster tit Titanium build here. Ordinarily these come with the, uh, the leads going straight off the back here. And since there's so much stuff coming off of the back of this, you got the antenna leads, you got the battery leads in this case, and then you've got the FPV antenna itself. So what I did is I routed it underneath this uh, brace plate for the arms in the back. And since it had an MCX uh, con uh, connector on it, I just kind of popped that off and then slid it under and popped it back on and stacked everything underneath my my stack here basically is what I did is I took the uh, the stack and built it up high so I could get my USB up off of that that standoff or that uh, brace there and then underneath the stack I can put all of my garbage like the uh, XSR in this case should be an XM plus and then my video transmitters all neatly stuck underneath there and what I did with the uh, since this is an all-in-one and it comes out the the uh, battery leads come out the back here I took the battery leads off and then repositioned them off to the side so I can zip tie them down um, on this part of the body along with the uh, the uh, uh, video transmission cord so everything will be stationary and, and not able to be ripped out of the back of the thing anyway that's my that's my thought on this this USB connector on this F4S is very difficult to get to so what I found is I uh, can get a, a USB connector in there that's got a right angle on it but uh, the only way to get it in is to get these battery leads out of the way and I don't even know if I can get it in there without this back plate on anyway so anyway just my thoughts on that the rooster got some steel motors on it see how it rips it's gonna work anyway talk to you later keep flying